Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you a few of my favorite fall complexion products from Kogan Doe. I'm also doing this in collaboration with Skin Store and I have a 25% off discount code for you guys using Abby 25. So if you're interested in learning more about my favorite fall complexion products, specifically from Kogan Doe, so excited you guys. This is a longtime favorite brand. I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite products from the brand. I'm gonna be doing a demo of the foundations, my new favorite powder, as well as an illuminator. So if you wanna see how I got this look, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, I'm so excited to be pulling out some of my favorites and sharing that there is a 25% off discount code at Skin Store. So that is Abby 25 and this discount will be available on the Kogan Doe products that I'm going to be using today as well as others. There will be exclusions but you can use Abby 25 at skinstore.com. Always love that and I'm pulling out a few of my favorite complexion products from Kogan Doe today. So I have two of their foundations that I absolutely adore and love and if you have been watching my channel for any amount of time you will know that for many many months my favorite combination was the Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation and then I would add in just a little bit of the moisture foundation. So I am going to show you today. I'm going to put on a layer of the aqua so you can see it by itself. I usually mix the two and but you don't have to do that. It just makes a beautiful combination and I'm going to use a little touch of the moisture foundation because it's got a touch more coverage. I also am going to be using today the Moisture Fit Concealer, as well as the Aqua Foundation Illuminator. So we are gonna be getting on a nice glowy base. And then I finally picked up the Kogan Doe. This is the Natural Lighting Powder. This is a favorite of Michelle Wong's and I have been meaning to pick this up for eons. So today we are gonna be focusing on Kogan Doe complexion products. I already put some eyeballs on for the sake of time, but I did use the Decort Eye Glow Gems that are also available at Skin Store, so you can check those out as well. Okay, so we are going to start with the Aqua Foundation, and I have it in the shade 123. And you guys, this is just lovely. This is a repeat purchase. So I had it in the older bottle. I had it in the older version. Um, I bought it in the new version, and this is truly a favorite here. And we're just going to put this on, and I'm so excited because I picked up the little Kogan Doe foundation brush. So I'm going to start with this and then we can kind of play around. I just want you to see this on its own. And here is the little Kogan Doe. This is their foundation brush. Nice little kabuki here. It's super soft and I love that it's kind of compact. So I am going to go ahead and buff this into the skin and we can take a peek and see what you guys think about just this layer alone. Perfect your complexion with Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation, a unique formula that blends seamlessly onto the skin to refine, hydrate, and promote the same youthful glow experienced after a facial. This brand's signature gloss film powder. It's an innovative technology to minimize the appearance of pores and imperfections. Is included in this long wear liquid foundation. It's going to deliver medium buildable coverage with a flawless finish. This also provides benefits of a serum that includes skin conditioning, hydration, and light diffusing minerals. 
This works in tandem to restore a bright, radiant complexion with a natural dewy glow. This is also going to resist sweat, shine, and oiliness, and it's suitable for all skin types. It's not tested on animals, and it is free of parabens, artificial colors, synthetic fragrance, and mineral oil derived from petroleum. Okay guys, this is one pump of the Aqua Foundation. And the reason I love this so much is it's gonna look like skin. The finish is going to be radiant. It's gonna be almost a tad dewy, but it does something kind of magical. It kind of blurs imperfections. And I just find it to be really comfortable on the skin hydrating um, and it wears very well again by the end of the day it's gonna look like skin but a little bit better so this has been a long time favorite and i can't recommend it enough so in general i love to do a little mixing of both of these but i'm going to take a little bit of the moisture foundation just a tad and i'm going to apply it to areas where i feel like i need it a bit more so the moisture foundation is just that it's going to be a little bit thicker it's going to have a tad bit more coverage and i just find it to be a really beautiful combination on the skin so i just tend to kind of like to put it on my cheeks that tend to be a little bit more red and down my nose and this one is so beautiful you guys so if you have dry skin either of these foundations will work but this moisture foundation is fantastic for dry skin tones the Kogan Doe Moisture Foundation is a cult favorite formula that combines the coverage of a cream with the comfort of a liquid. It's infused with jojoba oil, shea butter, and aloe extract. This long wearing foundation moisturizes and hydrates even the most sensitive skin and leaves it feeling comfortable around the clock. This is going to blend seamlessly onto the skin to deliver sheer to medium coverage and a natural looking color with a flawless finish. The light diffusing mineral pigments blur the appearance of visible pores, fine lines and perfections to create a smooth, even base. This is suitable for all skin types. And again, not tested on uh, animals. It's free from gluten, parabens, artificial colors, synthetic fragrance, and mineral oil derived from petroleum. And this one comes in 10 different shades. So that would be the one thing I would say is there's not a huge range, but because this formula is a bit more sheer to medium, I've just found that I don't have to be totally exact. And you guys know I am a nut bar about foundation matches. And I found that shade one, two, three just generally works for me pretty darn well. So, so hopefully there is something that will sort of match your skin. Okay guys, we have got both of those little foundations on and that is like one of my favorite combos. I just find that it looks fresh, healthy, feels super hydrating and it does not irritate my sensitive skin. So now we are going to use the Moisture Fit Concealer. And I have this in the shade number two. That's what that color is. I'm gonna give you swatches. So this is the number two in the Moisture Fit Concealer. This is one, two, three in the Aqua Foundation. And then this is one, two, three in the Moisture Foundation. So slight difference there, but I found that as these kind of dry down, they will essentially kind of mirror each other as far as color match. And then let's go ahead and put on this moisture concealer. And I'll go ahead and put it in those hollows. I'm just gonna take a couple little dots and kind of bring that up here to brighten up. I'm gonna go ahead and use the little kabuki because it fits pretty nicely right underneath my eye area.
going to take my ring finger and just kind of press that product into that eye. But you guys, it's very moisturizing. Um, and I just find what it does is it has a little bit of a blurring effect. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it definitely brightened up underneath my eyes. And it's very comfortable, nice kind of thin texture. So this concealer is infused with botanical moisturizers and you can definitely feel that as you're putting it on. Feels very moisturizing, not drying whatsoever. The weightless formula kind of just blends seamlessly into the skin, but because it just sort of melts into the skin, I just have really enjoyed this little concealer. So this is the Moisture Fit Concealer. I would definitely say it is fantastic for more mature skin types. Then we're gonna use the Aqua Foundation Illuminator. Now you guys, this is a very special product and I often use this mixed in with my foundation, but this is a basically a highlighter that you can paint on wherever you want or mix it into your foundation. And what I found is I just like to take a little bit and I just put it on the high points of my cheekbones, a little bit on the bridge of the nose. You can do it right above the cupids. You can even put a little bit up in the brow bone and this is just a pretty sheer beige color and this is just a really pretty sheer beige color so you guys I am someone who does like to highlight but in a more natural kind of way so I will just take that and then I just like to take my fingertips or that or that kabuki brush and then I'm just gonna go ahead here and we are just gonna give myself a little bit of brightness on the cheeks and again you guys it's not gonna be over the top again is infused with those kind of good for your skin ingredients and so it's just going to kind of add a little bit of natural luminosity Accentuate your favorite facial features with the Kogan Doe Illuminator. This is a radiance enhancing formula to sculpt and contour. It's infused with the moisturizing blend of shea butter, jojoba oil, and algae extract. The silky liquid highlighter applies effortlessly to subtly brighten the high points of the face. Use on the cheekbones and brow bones for added depth and dimension or use sparingly over your complexion to create a lit from within glow. There is a white shade to brighten dull and sallow areas or the sheer beige hue to add romantic luminosity. So you guys this is just such a pretty little illuminator. Quick little tip I want to share with you is that I have used this underneath my makeup. So I will have kind of taken this. I'll put a little on I'll put a little bit on the high points, down my nose, on my cheekbones, any place that I want a little bit of brightness. And then I will dab that in and then apply the Aqua Foundation. And this is a very beautiful glowy kind of complexion. This is nice and glowy on its own. So a little goes a long way with this, but this is a very kind of beautiful, natural, um, illuminator that I really enjoy for multiple reasons just to use as a highlighter to use in combination with my foundation to make a little mixture and also just to kind of do a little bit of highlighting underneath my foundation so really nice little product here. okay last but not least I've been so excited to give this powder a try. This is the Natural Lightning Powder. This is a favorite of the infamous Michelle Wong. She's talked about it for so long and I do not know why I have yet to try it, but I think it's partly because I'm not a huge powder girl, but of course I do need a little touch of it to set my makeup and have heard rave reviews about this. This powder is described as a weightless, finely milled setting powder to keep makeup in place around the clock. Fortified with silk powder, 
hyaluronic acid, and light diffusing technology, the illuminating powder blends seamlessly onto skin to deliver velvety soft, natural looking coverage and a golden glow. It helps to minimize shine and blur imperfections for a smooth, flawless finish. Okay, wow. Okay guys, this really is pretty on the face. I don't know if you can see, but it did kind of give me a velvet, not a matte finish. It feels lovely, but I did feel like it set the makeup because when I do use these two foundations that are kind of moisture rich, I do find that even with my dry skin, I definitely need to set it with a powder and I kind of can see what the hype is about. I've been into using like a little powder puff kind of trying to kind of roll it on so it really kind of meshes into the skin. Of course, I love using this brush for powder to kind of just smooth it on lightly. But what I've been enjoying is doing a little bit of the powder puff rolling technique and then kind of just going in with any extra and just making sure that my skin is not showing any powder on it. Okay guys, I do have to say I'm really liking this natural lighting powder. I'm just not someone who likes that kind of powder look on my skin. I have dry skin and I feel like this looks very natural. I feel like my skin has a nice glow to it, but also a little bit of a blurring effect. So really enjoying this powder. And again, these are some of my favorite little complexion products from Kogan Doe. So cannot recommend them enough. And guess what? You can get them for 25% off. So another reason to go ahead and dive in if you have not tried anything from this brand. And I do have to say, I love this little kabuki. It is soft. It is per perfect for applying foundation, for highlighter, and you can even get right up underneath your eyes. So, so far, you guys, this has always been a favorite brand of mine. I think they do a fantastic job. And if you are someone with sensitive skin, this is initially how I got into this brand. I was looking for some foundations for my fussy skin when I was having a little rosacea outbreak. And um, this was one that was recommended to me. So, so I'm absolutely in love with these products and I'm so excited to be teaming up with Skin Store. Um, you can get 25% off these particular products as well as many other things on the Skin Store site. And there are of course exclusions, but you will see there are as many things that you can enjoy. So it is, the code is ABBY25. And as we are moving into the more fall cooler weather, I'm definitely looking for foundations that are going to give me a little bit more hydration, that are comfortable on my skin and that are not going to look drying. So highly recommend these, use these for years. And so as usual, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you are a fan of the Kogendo products, what your favorites are, and I hope you enjoy this 25% off from Skin Store. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be back with another video soon.